All this mail was just dumped on my doorstep. And I don't even know this many people. Oh my God, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> oh, and it's all addressed to me. There must be a mix up. Bartender Bruce, bartender Bruce, bartender Bruce. <laughs> Who uses mail anymore? And there's more outside. It's kind of flattering though. Maybe they're all bills. <laughs> Damn creditors. Well, I guess I should open some of these and see what all the fuss is about. And probably people just wanting me to make drinks. <laughs> That's okay though. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. Ah, yeah. Okay, look at these letters. Oh, let's see now. Bruce, we have your ex-wife. If you ever want to see her again, we demand. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Keep her. <laughs> Ooh, I got a package too. I didn't order anything. Oh, it's from Marilyn. That's Harry E's daughter. Let's see what she wrote. Okay. Oh, I need my glasses. <laughs> yeah, it's a sin, isn't it? Okay. Aloha, Bruce. Enclosed is a signed picture of Harry, sweet, a cocktail book, and some yardage. Yardage? Oh, so you can make your very own Hawaiian shirt. I've also included Harry's hot buttered rum recipe. It would make a wonderful Christmas drink. Yeah, it would. Well, let's see what she sent us here. Oh, oh, there's the yardage. <laughs> sweet, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. I guess I gotta learn how to sew, eh? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. That is really, really nice. Could use it as a runner too, I guess. Oh, and there's the, there's the recipe book. Nice, I'm gonna have to study that a little later. And oh my goodness, there it is. Harry. <laughs> oh my God. It's Harry Yee, and he signed it to me. Oh, sweet. Oh, this is gonna make an awesome little addition to the bar. Yeah, having Harry's photo there, and I think there was a, oh yeah, there it is. The recipe, the recipe for his hot buttered rum. Sweet. Let's, uh, let's make a hot buttered rum. What an honor. I got Harry Yee watching over me. <laughs> really, that's a lovely gift. Thank you so much. Buttered drinks go back a very long way. A recipe for a buttered beer, and yes, it did exist before Harry Potter's buttered beer. The first printed recipe can be found in Thomas Dawson's 1594 recipe book. Man, 1594, that's a long, long time ago. The book was called The Good Huswives, Handmade for the Kitchen, <laughs> along with How to Boil Mutton, <laughs> you, you need to know that, <laughs> mutton and turnips. He instructs us to combine ale, spices, egg, sugar, and a whole lot of butter to make a hot buttered ale nog. Sounds kind of good, doesn't it? By the 1700s, hot milk punch was a must at any party. You see, homes were very poorly insulated in the 1700s, and without central heating, any added warmth was welcome. Silky and smooth, the hot milk punch rarely added butter. It was an optional thing. By the 1800s, Charles Dickens, in his novel Hard Times, wrote about Mr. Bounderby, suggesting to Mrs. Sparsit that she enjoy some scalding rum and butter to pick up her spirits. One of the first printed recipes for a buttered rum appears in Tom Bullock's 1917 recipe book, The Ideal Bartender. His recipe is pretty simple. In a tumbler, drop a lump of sugar and dissolve a little bit of hot water and add one and a quarter jiggers of rum, a piece of butter about the size of a walnut, and grate some nutmeg on top and serve. And then there's Harry Yee's recipe that I got from his daughter, Marilyn. 
<laughs> That's the one we'll be making today, with the addition of a couple things that I used to put in. Back in the 1980s, I made this delightful, warm, buttery cocktail in my Diablo bowl. But you could make it in a pot on the stove. Or just build it in your favorite mug. A lot of times, too, you'll find recipes that make a butter batter. It takes a little bit more time uh, and work, but it's delicious too. Basically, to make the batter, you beat the butter, sugar, and spices with a mixer until it's combined. And then you add maybe a tablespoon or so of the butter batter uh, to the rum and the hot water. But when I've made them in the bar, I've just built them to order, right in the glass. It's the easiest way to do it. Okay, let's make a hot buttered rum. It's going to taste good. The first thing we want to do is get our glass hot. Get her nice and warm. And we'll just set that off to the side. And in the meantime, while that's heating up, I'm grinding some allspice. And I love the smell of this stuff. You know, it's wonderful. Got my mortar and pestle here. And, uh, ah, nice fine powder. Okay, sweet. This is nice and warm. Let's get rid of the hot water, okay? I've got some nice brown sugar and the molasses in this sugar is just coming through so wonderfully. Um, I've got two uh, teaspoons in there. And I'm gonna add just a, just a drop of hot water just to mix it up. And you know, you could use a coffee mug or uh, any glass of your choice. Okay, that looks all nice and dissolved now. We need our butter. And uh, you want your butter at room temperature, uh, nice and soft. Now, I'm not gonna use a lot, just a, a teaspoon. And we'll get in there and just uh, blend it all in there, melt her down. Yeah, that's good. Let's get some rum going on. I've got a Puerto Rican rum, Bacardi 8 year old. Now you could use uh, a dark rum. Dark has lots of flavor, a little sweeter, um, but you want a flavorful rum. And we want two ounces. Sweet. Now I'm using the Puerto Rican rum because, well, that's what Harry used. <laughs> All right, keep stirring a little bit now. And now we're gonna add our hot water. About oh, four ounces or so. And we're just going to grate some fresh nutmeg on top. A little pinch of our allspice. Oh yeah. And why not grate some fresh cinnamon? Oh yeah, sweet. Now Harry used to uh, just pop in a cinnamon stick and a little rind of lemon, I'm using orange, stud it with cloves. Let's just drop that right in there. Get all the flavor going. Give it a little stir. Doesn't that look delicious? Personally, I would add NASA Royale <laughs> to, uh, to this because this is a, a rum-based vanilla liqueur. But um, a lot of people can't get that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract just for an added bonus. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Harry. Thanks, Marilyn, for your generous gift. And of course, your hot buttered rum recipe. It's delightful, a real winter warmer. And you know, do you remember that 1954 classic holiday movie, White Christmas, with Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, uh, Rosemary Clooney, and uh, Vera Ellen, the smallest waist in Hollywood. <laughs> in the movie, Bing, or Bob Wallace, the character he plays, explains how he loves Vermont, the snow, and hot buttered rum, light on the butter. <laughs> that simple line helped revive the hot buttered rum and keeps it popular during the winter season. Even today, it's delightful. Mm. 
Makes you all toasty warm. Ha! <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Sound effects by Bruce. <laughs> Get your copy today. I put it on a cassette for you. <laughs> Everybody likes cassettes. Yeah, I was wondering. Wave okay. of the future. Yeah, wave of the future. They're become. They're making a comeback, man. <laughs> and eight tracks. Yeah. I'm on Patreon now, yeah. For just a few dollars a month, you get access to things that nobody else sees. You get bloopers, you get uh, podcasts, newsletters, and sneak peeks. You get a whole whack of stuff that you're gonna love. So become one of my booze hounds and help support the show. This stuff gets expensive, and every little bit goes back into the show. Thanks in advance. Melikaliki Maka is a wise way to say Merry Christmas to you and you. <laughs> Make a hot buttered rum and, you know, check out these other Christmas drinks and hit the subscribe button. You know, it's, it's the way to butter me up, baby. <laughs> it's delightful. Mm.